Hi, I'm James Perkins. I'm a solutions engineer for Okta. And today we're going to look at the workflow template to send a notification to a user when their profile is updated. There's many reasons why you, might, why you may want to send a notification to a user, uh, such as when they log in from a new device, when their password changed, or in this case, when their profile is updated. Uh, quite commonly, that reason is to do with security. So we're notifying the user when something unusual happens to allow them to, to validate that it was them uh, or to investigate that or alert somebody else like the security team. So let's have a look at this flow. What you'll need for this is your Okta tenant, your workflow configuration, the workflow template, and then a notification service. In this workflow template, I'm using Slack, but you could use something like Microsoft Office 365 or Gmail to send a notification to that user. So I've already got the flow in my workflows console. Let's have a look in the, uh, and see how it's configured. So we can open up the flow here. Now, the first thing I like to do when I open my flow is just to open it and make sure that we're going to save all data that passes through this flow. This is just useful for debugging and checking that everything's running smoothly after we start running the flow. So the flow is kicked off by the user Octa profile update. So we're going to monitor when uh, the user's profile is updated, and then that's what's going to kick off this flow. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to construct a list. Now, this is a list for you to decide of what attributes you want to alert the user on. So in this case, I'm only going to alert the user when one of these attributes are updated, such as the primary phone number, their email address, or their manager attribute. If a different attribute is updated, such as their department or their location, anything that's not in this list, we're not going to notify that user. What we're going to do is we're going to split the attributes that's coming from the event. We're then going to do an intersect to see if those attributes um, that's coming in from the change attribute event that's kicked off this flow versus the list that we've constructed and see if that contains anything. Then we're going to do a, a continue if and we're just going to check if the if there's any attributes that we're actually monitoring for. So if, if an attribute that was changed that kicked off this workflow was something that we're not monitoring, such as the department, then we can stop this flow here. Next, we have an if else statement. This is an if else statement allows us to compose two different messages depending on who changed that user's attribute. So we can see here the condition is if the actor is the Octa user, then it's likely that the user themselves or an attacker pretending to be that user is the one who updated their profile. So we're going to compose a message along those lines. Otherwise, else, the, the user's profile is updated by somebody else, such as an administrator, maybe an API token, or an external application that's got a connection, such as a HR tool or maybe a directory. So again, we're going to compose a message along those lines to inform that user. Next, we read the user's profile. This just allows us to pull out additional attributes, such as the user's first name, their last name, their username. And then we can also tell them what the change attribute was, and then that compose message based on the actor here. And then finally, we're looking at sending that notification to the user. In this example, I'm just sending a message to a channel in Slack. But of course, you may not want to do that. You might want to send it directly to the user or you may want to use an alternative system. So you can configure that here. For example, we can look at sending Office 365. And then once we're in Office 365 mail, we can click send email. We select the connection and then we can drag the user's email address in here to find a subject. The body will be this message that we're going to send to the user. And then we could e notify the user by email instead of Slack. Perfect. So that's the flow set up. All we need to do now is turn this flow on. Flow is turned on. Let's just double check. Flow is on. Perfect. And now we can test the flow. So we come to Okta and we're already logged in as myself. And we go to the settings page. Here we can update the user's attributes. And I just need to log in to reconfirm myself.
So we can edit my profile. And then remember, we're only monitoring for those particular attributes. So we updated my secondary email. And we're not going to notify the user. So in this case, let's update the user's primary phone number. And we'll save that. Now what we should see is in workflows, in the flow history, we'll see an event happen. And then we'll see a message in Slack. So we can see the new message has just appeared in Slack. And we can look at the flow history. The flow looks like it's been successful. And we've sent the message. And if we come into Slack, we can see here, hello, James Perkins, and the email address. So hello, first name, last name, email. We noticed your profile was updated, and it was the attribute primary phone. It looks like you updated your profile. If you did not, please notify the security team. Alternatively, if we log into the admin console, as an administrator, we look at the user's pro a different user's profile. And let's have a look for Luke Skywalker. We come to their profile and we edit it. And let's change their manager to Daniel. And we save that. Again, we should see this flow kicking off. So a user's profile has been updated. And we can see here, hello, Luke Skywalker. We noticed your account profile was just updated. The attribute was manager. It looks like your profile is updated by an administrator, a HR tool, or possibly within an external application. So again, we're notifying that user. So this flow is working absolutely fine. And then finally, the last test is if we modify something that wasn't for us to look at. So we look at the title, and let's just set that to Mr. And click Save. We should see a new flow history appearing now, and that should stop. Uh, based on the attribute. So we can see the success come in. And we can see we haven't sent a message. And if we scroll through, we actually stopped it here at this continue if, and we never got to that if else statement. Thank you very much. I hope that you find this flow useful and you can expand on it and it's useful to your organization.